let's go ahead and dive in. The, the sort of frame for today's talk is going to be this question of, does it make sense to do arithmetic on a clock? So I have a picture of a clock here, and there's 12 numbers on it. And we can start just trying to do some basic arithmetic. And we'll find that we can do arithmetic, but some stuff's going to kind of go wrong. And we'll use the stuff that goes wrong in order to kind of motivate some of the technical distinctions between rings and fields and introduce some terminology like multiplicative group and generators and roots of unity. So let's just try some basic arithmetic. Does it make sense to do 8 plus 8 on a clock? Um, I don't have a mouse. Annoying. Uh, I'm going to have the screen be a little bit smaller. Now I think you can see my mouse, right? Is that correct? Yes. Great. OK, so I'm going to just do 8 plus 8 here. I'm starting at 8, and I'm just going to count 8 around the clock. 8 plus 8 is plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It looks like 8 plus 8 is 4 on the clock. Uh, continuing forward, which now is different because I need a mouse. 8 plus 100, I'm not going to bother counting all the way around, but we can sort of make sense of, well, if I went around t plus 12, I'd get back to 8. If I run around another 12, I'd get back to 8. If I run around another 12, I'd get back to 8. So I can sort of break this 8 plus 100 if I count 96 around, I'm just going to do a bunch of rotations. So 8 plus 100 will get me 8 plus 96 gets me back to 8. 8 plus 97 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100. So um, if you've seen modular arithmetic in any context whatsoever, which I think largely most of you probably have, this shouldn't be super familiar. All we're really doing here is arithmetic modulo 12. Oops. Uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Similarly, we could just start at 5 and start counting. So in particular, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Well, it gives me 25. It's going to end up equaling 1. Any questions about this sort of basic idea of doing addition on the clock? Is that a hand? No, that was an admit. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay, cool. So hopefully this feels pretty clear so far. And the the sort of where we go from here is, okay, I can do addition. Can I do multiplication? Can I do subtraction? Can I do division? Can I talk about squares and square roots? Like what's the sort of boundaries of where clock arithmetic seems just as intuitive as these addition problems on the page? And where does it start to break down? So Addition works, and it, it plays nicely with subtraction. What do I mean by plays nicely with subtraction? Looking at this equation on the page, I'd like to be able to kind of subtract 8 from both sides or subtract 6 from both sides, and I can. If I start, so looking at this first equation on the bottom here, 2 minus 6, if I start at 2 and count backwards 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I get to 8. And similarly, if I start at 2 and count backwards 8, I get to 6. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I get to 6. So addition and subtraction on the clock work very nicely as you would hope. Oh, I do want to... What about multiplication? Can we make sense of multiplication on the clock? Well, it's really not so bad because our notion of multiplication from childhood is repeated addition. So 5 times 5, I can just think of as 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Maybe I said the right number of 5s there. Um, so I can certainly do multiplication on the clock. 5 times 4, similarly, this is just 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Interestingly, it does work out that 5 times 4 is the same as 4 times 5. And at this point, we have the beginnings of a multiplication table. We have two kind of basic multiplication problems. We have 12 numbers, just like in elementary school, we could start filling out a multiplication table. So here's the two arithmetic problems that we've done so far, or the two multiplication problems we've done so far. 
four times four turns out to be itself, which is a nice kind of cool feature. If you have any nine-year-olds in your midst, you might challenge them to wonder, are there any other numbers that have the property that they're their own square? Um, so we start to see from just playing with arithmetic on a clock, some sort of interesting questions arise. Um, is a number its own square is quite an interesting question from my perspective. So multiplication works. Here's the whole multiplication table. Won't bother going through and doing all 144 arithmetic questions with you. What about division? 